Hi, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. Joining me today is Scott Register from Exia. Scott, thanks for joining The Hot Seat. My pleasure, Ray. I think this is your first time, right? This is. Now, what we see is a lot of acceleration of companies moving into public and cloud, and mm -hmm. I think recently you guys had some announcement related to cloud yes, visibility. absolutely, yeah. You know, maybe we can start off with what is the definition of cloud visibility and, and, and why do we need it? Okay. So cloud visibility means when you move your assets out of your own data center right. and into especially the public cloud, how do you maintain all the ability to see and monitor and access what's going on that you had when it was in your own data center? Right. That, that's really what, what we're after. Right, yeah. Now, why don't we go to a whiteboard? I mean, maybe you could explain, I think, because a lot of people are visual about where this value proposition fits. Does that make sense? Great. Yeah, let's go do that now. All right, okay. All right, Ray, so you're a CTO. You know how this worked. In the on-premise world, you had to maintain compliance. You know, you had fiduciary and, and legal responsibilities. You had to maintain protection of your customer data and other you know, security applications. You had to monitor what was going on, understand your performance, and maintain audit trails. But when you owned this infrastructure, it was relatively straightforward. And in fact, Ixia had been delivering those solutions for you know, like a, a decade, right? Because we've helped thousands of customers to do all these things in their data center, whether it's you know, bare metal or, or virtual. The big question is, how do you maintain all of these things, answer these same questions, when you move to the cloud? And that's why Ixia de developed CloudLens to answer those same things when you no longer own the infrastructure. And we did it in a very cloud native way. So things like, you know, what you pay, you know, how is it priced? It's all usage based. So when your usage goes up, you know, when your demand spikes on Black Friday, yeah, you, you pay more, but then when it shrinks back down, your payment goes way down. So you're only paying for what you use. We make it really, really uh, easy to manage and scale up and scale down. It's all automated. No person has to sit at the keyboard to do this. It's all automated. One of our big, I think, innovations that we bring to this is the use of metadata in management. So you know, you're familiar with the concept of, of metadata. Instead of dealing with every individual data element, you can kind of look at an, an aggregate picture. So in this case, you can say, all of my database servers I want to send specific traffic from them to my security tools. And all the traffic from my web servers, I want to send to my performance monitors. And you don't have to specify them individually or using things like IP addresses, which no longer matter in the cloud. You can just characterize what a database server, or a web server, or whatever it looks like, and say, okay, all of those, and just draw a circle around them. I want that data to go over here. So we make it really, really easy to deploy this cloud native visibility solution and answer all those critical questions. And this is what's been holding people back. So we're really excited about it. Yeah, this is excellent, thanks. Sure. You know, Scott, that was an interesting whiteboard. It really helped me understand the value proposition of your product. Great, yeah, it always helps to draw a picture. Great, thank you. Now, maybe we can close with this whole idea about migration, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we see a lot of customers are in different part of the journey to the cloud. Yes. I mean, how does Exia really help its customers in that transition? Well, it, and I'm sure you can't do it all by yourself. Right? No, de definitely not. Okay. Uh, and it's a great question. And yeah. we're fortunate to work in a very rich ecosystem. And we work with both technology partners and system integrators. And the right. technology partners, many of whom are names that, that you already know, these are the people who deliver the security tools, whether it's you know intrusion prevention or data leak prevention or performance monitoring, those kinds of things. And, and many of the names that you know because they've been doing this uh, for years in, in the data center, but they have this fundamental problem of getting access to the data that they need to deliver their services in the in the cloud. And we help hook that up. You know, that's the piece that, that we deliver. And then the system integrators that we work with, they'll go into you know, an enterprise customer and say, okay, you wanna take this set of applications and move those to the cloud. So they will enable that and they'll help with the migration and optimization and things like that. And as part of that service delivery, they will provide you know, our products and some of those technology partner products so that at the end of the day, the customer has the full set of you know, applications deployed with full visibility right. and full security. 
One of the, the other things that we do to help customers with that migration is, in many cases, the customer wants to do sort of a trial deployment in the cloud, and they don't know what the cloud native security solution right. is going to look like. So we let them stand up, you know, however many like instances they want in the cloud, but bring all that data back to their data center so they can continue to use the exact same monitoring and security and troubleshooting tools that they use today. No change in deployment right. whatsoever, but still have that full visibility as they work through their migration. Yeah. That that uh, customers we have found it that that's a big help to them yeah. being able to change only one thing at a time. Excellent. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. All right, thank you. With Scott, this is Ray Mota. Thanks for joining this edition of the Hot Seat.